Hey, this is Bronson Strickland from the MSU Deer Lab, and something I wanted to show you is uh, this is a historic variety of Persian clover. And so you'll often see this in, in pastures and uh, sometimes on the roadside. Uh, this particular clover has not been planted in the plot I'm standing in in probably 10 years or greater. Notice there's a lot of stem, of course. Uh, notice the some people would say purple flowers or pink flowers, but you notice it kind of has a distinctive bloom, smaller bloom than say a red clover or maybe an arrow leaf. But just notice the amount of stem and the amount of leaf biomass on the, the trifoliate here. Now let's look at a uh, variety through plant breeding. And so taking some of these historic varieties of clover and using plant breeding to select specific characteristics for foraging and in this case for deer foraging. Notice just the size of the plant, a lot bigger. Notice that uh, the size of the leaf itself is so much bigger than kind of the, the historic variety, so a lot more leaf biomass. And even selection taking place at the stem itself so it's actually a, a hollow stem and still herbaceous. And so there's a lot more forage biomass that uh, a deer can consume with some of these new varieties. So just to uh, bring your attention to that, there's a lot of food plot species, especially clovers, historically that are big performers, always have been, always will be. But there's also some varieties where plant selection and plant breeding has made them to where they're going to produce a lot more biomass for deer.